So first, we're going to talk about me and Bae's pizza that we're having tonight. Yes, we are having us a Netflix night. If you got a Bae, definitely cuddle up with him, her, whoever. Okay, Paul friend, Yao friend, cuddle up, okay? Look, make sure y'all got somebody. If y'all don't, get y'all a nice comforter or a nice little throat. Put it around yourself and cuddle with it, okay? With your throat, okay? Or your, your comforter. And get you some Netflix on, okay? Telling me that I need to get this pizza out the oven before it burn, honey. But anyways, that's the pizza. I wish I had a light on this stove, but... Girl, I'm gonna leave that in there for a little bit because I like that bottom to taste like that stone type of pizza. Real good, real good. Okay, enough of this because I really want to show you guys my little DIY project that I am doing myself. I am taking my time and yes, so what you would need is basically your own self adhesive wall title, tile. Um, and if you're wondering where I got this from, girl, yes, sir. Look, ma'am, y'all, <laughs> I got this at the lovely Dollar Tree. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in three months, y'all. Like, seriously, no lie, no cap, none of that. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in three months. How about that, okay? So when I finally get ready to go to Dollar Tree, I spot these. I'm like, these are pretty neat. Like, I see these all on Pinterest. I see these in, like, people's houses. And I'm wondering, like, girl, I want my house to look luxury. I want my house to look high-end. You know what I mean? <coughs> We're about to get this together, okay? Oh, okay. Don't come back for me. Stay. Don't come back for me, okay? Don't embarrass me. Okay, anyways. So I wanted my house to look a little luxury to it. And I'll be looking at YouTube. And I'll be seeing y'all be having these little backsplashes looking cute and stuff like that. And so, look. That's all you got to do. And then just kind of cover up your middle part. I'm going to show you how to do all that. Let's, we're going to talk about that later. But yes, I got 25 of these, which I know I'm not going to need down here. But I'm going to take some of these upstairs in my bathtub and see what I can do with the rest of them. Um, because I'm definitely not going to take them back to Dollar Tree. They were all $1 a piece. Um, and you really have to, when you see these, you really have to... Not think about it, but just impulse ball because, especially if you want your kitchen to look something like this, um, nice and fancy, kind of like, um, but you don't have the money to pay anybody to do it, or, you know what I mean, um, and you want a budget like I am, okay, um, you can definitely go to Dollar Tree and get these for just one buck, one dollar, okay, I got 25 of these, which was just $25, um, and plus tax. Um, and then I got like a couple of more things, but yeah, <laughs> so they look like this. Um, they just look like this is self adhesive wall title. Um, and the brand is called Two Bench Hardware. So when you're in Dollar Tree, um, definitely look for that brand. And it just basically shows you. Oh, and another thing that it does have these kind of tiles as well. So when I go back next time. Or I might go back in the morning and just grab some of these up because I definitely want to do another project with these. Period. Um, I love, love, love these ones. Um, and they also have like a little, a little background picture of how they did the background for the for those the ones that I like on the background. But I'm gonna use these for totally something else. Um, and so. Um, Honestly, like I say, when you go to Dollar Tree, definitely don't think about it. Impulse buy it. Get it. They are, um, they're not cheap feeling. Um, they feel really, really good. When you touch them on the wall, they feel like, you know, like, I wouldn't say bricks, but they feel like somebody actually did it. I'm sure nobody's going to be touching all on it. You know what I'm saying? But these are the ones that you can definitely wipe off. If something gets on there like grease stains or anything like that, you can definitely go in and deep clean and wipe it off with soap and water. Um, it does tell you to uh, wipe your back, your um, your marble and stuff with soap and water to clean it, clean it all off before you add these on. So my little tip and trick, you guys, for uh, these, especially when it's come to like hard areas and I know that 
I need to hide these because that don't look like it's luxury, honey. Somebody could be walking past me like, dang, what? Who did that, sis? So my secret thing is use some clear tape. Um, I just pulled just a little bit off. And see right here, you guys, it was kind of sticking up. Then I put that tape on there and it snapped into place. Um, and then I got to do this underneath here. Um, also, the um, plug fixtures. I'm going to definitely get a new plug fixture pretty soon. Um, and I'm not going to be doing the title over the plug fixture because I'm not going to be messing with that area. I know how to do it and everything, but uh, Babe said he was going to do it for me because he didn't trust me messing with this stuff. So I'm going to, you know, trust him and leave it up to him. Hopefully he don't mess it up. But I'm going to show you guys today how I place these on here, like on this side. Um, and how I measure and how I know it, what it's going to look like on this side. Um, and how I'm going to make them look like more like this. <laughs> Since I'm not doing it, it's just like you kind of eyeballing stuff. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing for, for this side. Uh, I'm just going to do the top. Um, when I moved in here, this is what it honestly looked like. I just don't like it. Um, and I like this kind of marble. I like this marble here, but I don't like this. It just gives me old school vibes or something like that. A lot of people like stuff like that. They like old school stuff, backsplashes and stuff like that. But I'm modernized. Like, honey, it's 2021. It's about to be 2022. We got to upgrade you, baby. Okay? What would that Beyonce say? Let me upgrade you. So, baby, I'm going to upgrade this kitchen back wall. That's what I'm about to do. I just, you guys, honestly, I just love, love, love this stuff. And then one, um, I've been just trying to work on my kitchen little by little and fix it the way I want to fix it. Um, and then also, I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, do your stove light fixtures and all that stuff because... I think it's important for, I'm just going to say it for a woman to know how to have her own little, you know, girl, get your little tool gun. I mean, they don't cost a thing. Get them on Amazon, get your little tool gun, and you do what you do. See, I had already started another project while I was standing here, and I said, you know what, let me, let me get with them and show them how I row, okay? But anyways... Let's get right into it so I can show you guys how I put up this DIY Dollar Tree wall tile. Um, and it was just a dollar. I can't even believe it. I, when I walked around the corner and I saw these, I was just like, ooh, yes. But you guys know what I really, really, I cannot wait to see if they have the, um, there's some more that looks like this, but they are so cute. So, so cute. So, um... Another thing with this is that when you do purchase this from Dollar Tree, you can definitely purchase this online if it's not in Dollar Tree. All you have to do is just go under the cart, like it's, I think it's home, it's like the home section or a car or something in, in Dollar Tree. Um, I found this definitely in our crafter section because I think it's, I feel like it's more of a crafter thing um, because you're putting it up and stuff like that. But yeah, um... It does have this adhesive paper, and I would suggest you guys to hold on to at least one of your adhesive paper because you're going to have to measure this thing out, okay? Especially when you are doing, that's what I forgot to tell you, especially when you are doing your um, your plug fixtures. So I have me a little, you know, little box cutter here um, that I just had on deck, um, and I just honestly decided to just go ahead and do it, but Bay was like, no, no, no. So, um, I was going to do it, y'all. Like, I ain't scared, like, to hook up my kitchen, okay? But I was thinking, like, because I don't like these walls either. But I was thinking about doing something. I don't know if I'm going to frame this all the way around. Like, something like that. I don't know how that's going to look. But I think I'm going to just stay in this area for now. So, yeah. Anyways, enough of this rambling. Let's get in to it.
I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down To where I want it you couldn't really tell that um I put tape there <laughs> like y'all can see it because it's like right here it's way different from the color of the wall I'm not sure what color I think this color is like a I don't know like a, a maybe a tan color but yeah you can totally see where I added tape right there but if anybody was in my kitchen, like I'm looking at it right now, it doesn't look like it's taped there. Um, and then I also added tape here, and you can't even see it, like it's invisible. So whenever you're doing DIY projects like this to your home, definitely, definitely pick up you some clear tape. I wouldn't suggest Dollar Tree clear tape because it is not the best tape. I've I bought so much of Dollar Tree, hoping a uh, Dollar Tree tape, hoping that it will work the only thing I think it will work on is like if you have gifts or something but as far as this like these product this project right here I wouldn't even think about Dollar Tree tape go to like CVS pharmacy or Walgreens they have they tend to have their tape and stuff on sale or Walmart um, they have tape and stuff on sale as well but I honestly love it 
You guys, I'm sorry it's dark in the kitchen. I had a light that like literally blew out. So, um, yeah, but as I get closer, you guys probably can still see it, but it's kind of blending in. Like, if I push it down, it'll blend in more. Um, but yeah, I just, I honestly love, love, love this backsplash. Like, I can't wait to bake. Finishes the rest. It's gonna look so cute. Um, and then I gotta finish these corners and stuff here, which is gonna be a whole task. And then I'm gonna do this part for you guys. Um, but I'm not gonna mess with anything on this side. Um, so I'll show you how to cut it on this side. And then, um, yeah, you guys, I'm just showing you, you know, little steps on how to DIY your backsplash. I am not a pro at this. I would love to, like, do some interior design and show you guys how to do that. Um, I love decorating houses and stuff like that. I just can't decorate my own house. That's just sad. But, <laughs> but like, in my mom's house, my aunt's house, my cousin's them house, I decorate that in their house. I love flesh, flesh, fresh floral arrangements too as well um, and I'm gonna start having some floral arrangements here as well oh I need to get this little spot right here put some tape on it because um, you, as you can see it was puckling up right there um, where I didn't see it but yeah